What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a review of Lightroom presets, a fro pack as he calls it by Jared Polin. Jared Polin has a phenomenal YouTube channel and I've been following him for quite a while and he's pretty amazing at what he does and I I highly encourage you to go check out Jared Polin right there. Jared Polin on YouTube. Subscribe to him. Make sure you watch all his videos. And he, he's just super helpful about all things photography, uh, real world reviews on cameras, different things about angles, editing, kind of the photojournalist inside of him. He he creates all these uh, videos for you to learn off. And it's just, it's truly amazing as a photographer, as a video editor. I highly appreciate content like Jared Poland's content. So with that being said, let's get right into it and actually start reviewing his Fro Pack presets. All right, now we've opened up Lightroom. This is the picture that I will be editing. It's it's unique. It's me on the motorcycle, the helmet. It looks cool. It's in the day, in the daytime, obviously. It's I'm shooting this in JPEG, not raw. I'm sorry, Jared. I usually shoot in raw, but this was taken on my iPhone. Fro pack right here, we're just gonna go one by one in each uh, edit, see what it does to the actual image. Uh, I potentially might move some stuff around depending if I like that specific edit or not, but we won't change too many things. Okay, so the first one here from the Fro pack is Acid Watch. This is my before. Uh, like already to begin with, my picture already looks so much better. Then this is my before, this is my after. So this is the Acid Watch. Honestly, I don't know what I would change about this photo at all. It's actually incredible as it is. Uh, maybe like back here, there's some weird stuff happening with the trees. I could touch that up a little bit here and there. Maybe there's a little bit too much blue in in these photo or in this photo and I probably would change the, the amount of blueness that's in here. And this was taken around somewhat golden hours so I may just kind of bump up or back the uh, temperature there and it kind of gives it that golden hourish look you know that it's in the sunset stuff like that so okay let's go uh let's command z that okay second preset is acid wash with no white balance i'm assuming that's i'm assuming no wb is white balance so this is acid wash the first one we did okay and this is acid wash with no white balance Okay, so it already kind of gives it that golden hourish look, if if you will. So, uh, I guess I, I could use that photo too. That's it's a pretty good edit. Okay, let's moving on to the aquamarine. Okay, this I'm not so much of a fan of this edit on this photo only because it kind of makes it like the edit calls it aquamarine. It's a little more blue than I would hope. It's a little you know faded. Uh, it, it seems like there's not enough, not enough color, not enough contrast or saturation within this photo. So I, I wouldn't go with this edit specifically, but I can see how this edit could fit with other pictures. And again, the next photo edit is Aquamarine with no white balance. That's actually a pretty cool photo. You know, if I had a cafe racer with like old school, you know, bell helmets, then this actually could look really really sick. That's aquamarine and this is aquamarine with no white balance. That could look really sick with some really cool, like I, I can see California sunset photos with, you know, buildings in the back, the skyline, or even going to San Francisco or even to Minneapolis. Something really cool that highlights the buildings or highlights the surroundings uh, around you. Okay, the next edit is going to be B and W Boomify. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, this looks so great. Oh my gosh, that truly looks amazing. Wow. Okay, that's with no edit. This is with the black and white boomify. I feel like I have to say that with like boom in my voice. So it's black and W. Boomify. Boomify. I don't know, something like that. Wow, that is amazing. You can see the details in my jacket, the, the brings out the blackness, the reflection in my helmet, the black on my motorcycle. By the way, I have a Yamaha R3 2017 Raven Edition in matte black, just for those who want to know. Uh, and yeah, that looks so killer. And I like that it doesn't boomify, if you will, the background of the photo. And for those reasons, I like it. 
I just felt like Shark Tank. Oh, man, this Boomify. I can see how Boomify can really boom up your colors. Uh, if you don't have a good color picture, just go with this Boomify. It, it's great. Okay, next edit here. Color Boomify. Oh my goodness. It's kind of like the acid wash. Almost. If we go back to acid wash. Kind of like acid wash, but acid wash has a little more contrast and punch. I feel like where the color Boomify takes it and really evens out the the actual image in itself. I actually like this a lot. I would maybe, again, the blues in the back, maybe bring down those blues a little bit. Maybe add some more yellow in there, just a tad bit. It kind of takes the blue out, but I do like how my jacket uh, is black and somewhat blue and the reflection off my tank here from the sky. Some pretty good stuff. Man, Jared, I, this is a, this is a really good pack. I, I dig this a lot. Okay, I, I actually, I like that a lot. So let's go into, okay, we're in Color Boom 5. Let's go to Cookies and Cream. I love Cookies and Cream. Oh my goodness. No, this, this is what I would use for a cafe racer look uh, with one of those old school like bell helmets, old school gloves, old school jacket, cafe racer type. This is the edit I would use. This is such a good, oh my gosh. Okay, where is it? Uh, it was black and, okay, black and white Boomify versus cookies and cream. Oh, that's aquamarine. Wow, that's, I like how it's got almost like a sepia filter or some sort of like almost yellowish blackish tint to it. Uh, I could see how this photo, or sorry, I can see how this edit really would bring out a lot of cool features and textures in a photo. So for those reasons, I like it. Okay, next up, up next is Faded Glory. Cool, yeah, yeah, just another simple, kind of almost acid wash look. I can see how this would be kind of an Instagram banger uh, in, in your edits. Uh, yeah, it's, again, Faded Glory, no, nothing like too special, but again, it can bring out some different features in your photo, and I, I like that a lot. Again, I'm not sure what this is about. Maybe there's just a green in the background or more trees, but I don't like that some of the edits have kind of, it's not color fringing at all. It's not fracting anything. Fracting? What is it? Fragmenting, it's not fragmenting. I called it fracting, what am I doing? Okay, next is the Kensington. Oh, snap. Okay, so this is color Boomify, oh no. Uh, where is it? Uh, B and the black and white Boomify versus Kensington. Ken, Kensing? Kensington. Dope photo, man. This is like the band 1979, 1970, 1975. I feel like they would use this filter on all their Instagram, like features, pictures, and advertising. Just because it's got, it's, it's literally black and white and it looks so dope with this leather jacket. Oof, great job, Jared. Great job. I like it. Okay, Kensington with no grain. Let's try that. Oh, okay, so the, the first Kensington that we tried had grain, which I kind of see. So if we go to Kensington here, if we look at my helmet maybe, oh yeah, I see that grain. It's kind of got that uh, 35 millimeter look. Oh yeah, this is dope. This is pretty great. And then no grain makes it even sharper. It makes it kind of that smoothness of of the actual photo and what it looks like. Oh yeah, I, I very cool, very cool. I can see me, I can see me using so far all of these edits on all of my photos. Okay, Ovaltine. Hmm. Almost like an aquamarine with some no white balance, maybe. Right, Jared? I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, I, I mean it's a simple photo compared to my. This is my before. If I needed a little bit more, but didn't want to really oversaturate my image or really just over color correct it or edit, I would just go with something like Ovaltine. Yeah, this is the before, this is after. Before, after. So it kind of just brings it up, spices it up, makes it more lively and I like it. Next in the Fro Pack edit is the Sandlot. Sandlot, such a good movie. <laughs> what is going on? This is like, it, oh my goodness, I don't even know what to, it's before, after, before, after. Wow, it actually, it's, it's a whole different photo with this edit. 
I wonder if, let's see, if we go into the actual, oh yes, the blue primaries have been the hue, oh yeah, look at that, I, I do like this, if I go back, I don't like that, so command Z that, that's, that's dope, I like the before, and I like what it does to the actual blues in the sky, it, it see how just saturated the blues in the sky are, if I go now to the sandlot edit, it almost brings it down a little bit more and actually brings out more of my helmet jacket and gas tank. It's so great. Okay, next in line is Silver Tide. Whoa. This almost, this almost in my mind, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this photo just now with this edit is Matrix style. I don't know why, but I don't know if that was intended, but it, it's really cool also with the jacket, the helmet. I love it. That's super cool. I wonder... Let's see, what did, you, what did you use? Okay, no blue primary there. Okay, you drop down. Okay, no gray. Drop down some highlight priority. Noise, okay, sharpen. I wonder if I like sharpen it all the way. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Command Z. Very cool. Okay, next one, Skittles. <laughs> okay, so here's my before image and here is my after with the edit Skittles. Skittles are when you have a bag of Skittles or vibrant uh, It's just really colorful and this is what this edit is essentially for your photo It it brings it up to just make it more lively more color more punch and make it more vibrant That's great. And I can make it more vibrant by making that saturation Really 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 push it. Oh, that looks so bad. I would never do that But I know people out there that actually do this and it's it's not that before and then with the saturation put up to plus 57 with the skittles edit you got this photo okay next in line is universal soldier hmm okay before after Bef before after so again a subtle look but i feel like it's it's more than the oval teen or the sandlot the universal soldier edit actually maybe brings out a little more contrast in just uh, just a little bit, just plus three. If I were to push that up to maybe, you know, a six, that's what it would do, or even a 10. This is plus 10 contrast. I like this edit. It's su it's subtle, it's simple, and it's just punchy. Again, before, after. It brings out the actual photo. And okay, next is the Waffle House. <laughs> uh, this is This is the one that I chose, I think. But then I changed a little bit more things, like a little less black, a little less blue. I sharpened it up a little bit more, just a tad. Uh, let's see here, what did I do? I think I came back on contrast, clarity, I bumped up a little bit. The blacks I brought up just a tad. The blues, I want a little bit more of that golden hour look, so I bump up the temperature to there. And that kind of felt, I can maybe come with just a little bit more exposure. When I did that, it actually brought up the photo a little bit more. I guess I could do, I went 0 0.15, that about, and then also, it, it, that brings out the photo more. I like the reflection in my helmet. I like this photo a lot, actually. Uh, what am I going to do right now? Ooh, I can, the dehaze, I will bring down to minus one. This is the before. This is after, oh my gosh, that just looks so stellar. I'm actually going to export that right now. If it's gonna work. All right, let's try this again. And I think for Instagram, I already have it. Oh no, that's original. I'll set it to four or five for the gram. Make sure I don't cut off my helmet. I know I'm cutting off my arm, I'm sorry Jared, but that's what it is. I don't want to cut off this piece of helmet because it would look pretty bad. So with that, I will export with previous. I will overwrite that and boom, it's going to my desktop. Mm. Next on the house, what was I doing? Waffle house with no VG. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, this is before, after, a little more saturated, a little more punch in this picture. Again, the blues uh, are a little more punchy than I would like it, but that's okay. Uh, again, it's kind of like Waffle House, but I guess no VG. Does that mean no vignette? I think so. Yes. 
Uh, if we go to Waffle House, uh, where's the vignetting on here? Yes, there is a minus 20 on the vignette. If we go to Waffle House, no vignette, no vignetting. And that's, again, the same picture, no vignette. I like it. Okay, Wonder Years. Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this witchcraft, Jerry? Pull it. Before, after. Hmm, before, after. This is dope. I can see this being used in a lot of my photos. Kind of like a cloudy, wondering where the years went by. Maybe, I don't know. Lame joke. Okay, next, and I think this is the final this is the final edit from the Fro Pack. Okay, Wonder Years with no vignetting. Oh, okay, there it is, Wonder Years with no vignette, or Wonder Years with vignetting, and then Wonder Years with no vignetting. I like it. Yeah, it, it brings out the little more, again, obviously there's no vignetting in this edit, but it, yeah, it kind of softens the black it really desaturates the image. There's no, there's not as much punch or contrast. Um, yeah, I like it. I, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm captivated by this edit, kind of wondering where it could go, what application I could use it with different photos, etc. Cool. Awesome, I like it. Yeah, well I think the one that I actually liked was probably, so this is the final edit that I chose, and I believe this was the Waffle House. Oh, and it's such a good edit. Oh my gosh, this photo. I'm gonna have to change the one that I have now edited in my camera roll So with, with this one, because it's so good. So there you guys have it. Just uh, a quick review on the Fro Pack by Jared Pollan. Again, phenomenal YouTuber, phenomenal person. I've never met him, but just watching his videos, he's a genuine guy who just wants to create good content for photographers and you know videos to learn from, uh, not videos, from videographers to learn from. So hopefully you guys kind of got a feel for his, you know, his pack and hopefully you guys can go download it and buy his Fro Pack. This is not a paid sponsorship, this is nothing like that. I just, I like the guy, I liked his editing, I liked his style on YouTube, so I went and bought his pack. I'm gonna support him because uh, he's a creator, a fellow YouTube creator, and just did a quick review for you guys to see, and hopefully kind of leans you towards buying the Fro Pack from Jared Poland. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, please let me know in the comments below what you guys liked, what you didn't like, uh, and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. Goodbye.